Hi, this is Prashant from HowToScreenshot.com. In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to screen capture or take screenshots using the native, native Mac OS screen capturing tool, uh, for which most purposes is a great tool and will do the job. Now, we're going to learn how to screen capture to the clipboard so we can paste into another document or application and another video tutorial will cover off how to screen capture to file. So there's three types of screen capturing uh, using the native tool. There's capturing the entire desktop or monitor or monitors I see in front of me, so the whole screen. There's capturing the window, so for example this browser window, or there's capturing a particular section, so whatever area I select um, that I see in front of me. So let's start off with just the entire desktop, and the way we do that is uh, holding down three buttons firstly and then pressing the right number. So we hold down Command, Control, Shift and 3 for the entire screen. And it gives a little clicking sound which you didn't hear because I'm wearing headphones. And that little clicking sound which is a camera clicking tells me that something is captured to clipboard. Now the way I can confirm that is go to a blank document. So in this situation it's a PowerPoint presentation I've loaded and I could just right click and press paste and there you go captured the entire screen ignore that blue line which is just my video editing line uh, but as you can see very nice screen capture there so I'll delete that now and we'll learn how to do screen capture of a particular selected area so again same keys I'm holding down, command, control, shift, but this time I'm pressing 4. By pressing 4 I get these little crosshairs that come up. And all I do is I start it in the location I want to start from, and then I hold down the left mouse button. And then I select the area and then let go the left mouse button. I again hear a little camera clicking sound and I know something's been captured. I'll go to my blank presentation document, and then I'll do a little paste and there you go. Little area captured perfectly and I can then sort of do whatever I want in the application I choose to paste it in. Now lastly, capturing the window, again very straightforward. So say you want to capture this browser window. So the way I do that is the same commands as before which is command control shift held down and the number 4 again. Now when the crosshairs come up this time I'm going to press the space bar. When I press space bar the little cursor turns into a camera and that camera is waiting for me to select the window I want to capture. So I just press click on this window and it will capture the browser window which we now know is in the clipboard and I can save well, sorry, I can paste that into a document or application which supports it. Now, this is not the only way to capture. Uh, we can do that via keys like I've just shown, or we can use the preview application. So, load up the preview application, I get rid of that dialog box, and I go to the File menu. And then under File, we see the option to take screenshots. And under screen, Take Screenshots, we've got the options that we've just spoken about. And in this case, I'll choose Selection, and when I choose it and take the screenshot, I get a little window, a preview window that appears. Now at this point, it's not in the clipboard. So what I need to do is I go to, see, go to Edit in the menu, and then I do a Select All, and then I have go back again, and I have the option to Cut or Copy. And at the point I cut and copy, it's in the clipboard. So I've just copied that. I'll go to my Document and paste it in. And there it is. So using the keys is not the only method. Using the preview application is, a, is quite a good method because you have multiple options available to you. I prefer the keyboard method because it's quicker, but uh, you know, each to their own. Look, I hope that was useful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, then please contact us. Uh, otherwise, goodbye for now and see you in the next video tutorial.